guys, Tim here. Uh, we're doing this uh, Silverstone Sugo SG09 build and I need to clean up um, my processor from some thermal paste. So I thought I'd go over with you guys what I do. So I like to use rubbing alcohol, the 99%, and I like to use, you know, everybody has a different opinion, but I like to use nonstick pads, um, sterile nonstick pads. I found that these do a really good job of not leaving lint behind. Um, and absorb an awful lot of thermal material, and this is what they look like. So what I do is I tend to I poke a hole, if you guys can see that, just poke a small hole in the top of the, the packaging, and then I'll fold over uh, my sterile gauze, which of course isn't sterile anymore because I have my hands all over it, but that's not the point. And I'll just soak it through until I just barely feel it come through the back, so that I don't get too much on there. And then, you know, everybody does this a little differently, but you, know, you want to be careful not to get anything on the bottom of the chip. And then I just, like, get the thermal compound or thermal paste, um, you know, wet with the, the rubbing alcohol, and it'll slowly dissolve, and you don't need to use a lot of pressure. And you'll see that it's starting to come off on my my pad and so I try to get most of the material off with one side oh, there we go I try to get it as clean as possible so that looks good and so you can see how much came off there then what I do is I fold the the pad over backwards on itself, repeat my you know get it wet procedure. I don't know if it's actually called getting wet since it's a uh, alcohol. And then you know same deal. You can see there's there's like a haze on it. So I just want to get this as clean as possible. You're not, you know, like a lot of things, you don't need a mirror finish here, but you're just trying to make it as clean as you possibly can get it. Um, the cleaner uh, you can get it, the better um, the thermal transfer will be. And that seems to be about as good as I'm going to get. So you can see there's still, you know, I don't know if you guys can see this. It's not a hundred percent, you know, it's not shiny. So it's, it's pretty good. You know, all the thermal paste is gone. It's nice and clean. And then we repeat the same steps. Um, in this case, it's the Intel uh, cooler. You can see there's a bunch of goop on there. So I just use the same idea where you're just going to try to get it wet and that actually I had a little more on there that time so that worked a little better. So you don't want too much um, rubbing alcohol but you want enough that uh, you know, you're going to get all the, the stuff off. And that's already nice and clean. So the other thing you can use um, which some people like, and I have not tried yet, I'm going to try this next time I remount my H100, is the Arctic Clean, so you have the, the thermal remover and then the surface purifier. So I'm going to try that on the H100. On this, um, I'm not as concerned because I'm not going to overclock as aggressively as I will my H100, but that's it, you guys. Uh, tune in for the the Sugo uh, finish build. Uh, love my videos. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.